Flowers for Algernon, Daniel Keyes. Progress Report One, March fifth, nineteen sixty-five. Doctor Strauss says I should write down what I think and everything that happens to me from now on. I don't know why, but he says it's important, so they will see if they will use me. I hope they use me. Miss Kinian says maybe they can make me smart. I want to be smart. My name is Charlie Gordon. I am thirty-seven years old, and two weeks ago was my birthday. I have nothing more to write now, so I will close for today. Progress report two, March sixth. I had a test today. I think I failed it, and I think that maybe now they won't use me. What happened is a nice young man was in the room, and he had some white cards with ink spilled all over them. He said, "Charlie, what do you see on this card?" I was very scared, even though I had my rabbit's foot in my pocket, because when I was a kid. I always failed tests in school, and I spilled ink too. I told him I saw a ink blot. He said yes, and it made me feel good. I thought that was all, but when I got up to go, he stopped me. He said, "Now sit down, Charlie. We are not through yet." Then, I don't remember so good. But he wanted me to say what was in the ink. I didn't see nothing in the ink, but he said there was pictures there. Other people saw some pictures. I couldn't see any pictures. I really tried to see. I held the card close up, and then far away. Then I said, if I had my glasses, I could see better. I usually only wear my glasses in the movies or TV, but I said they are in the closet in the hall. I got them. Then I said, "Let me see that card again. I bet I'll find it now." I tried hard, but I still couldn't find the pictures. I only saw the ink. I told him, "Maybe I need new glasses." He wrote something down on a paper. And I got scared of failing the test. I told him it was a very nice ink blot with little points all around the edges. He looked very sad, so that wasn't it. I said, "Please let me try again. I'll get it in a few minutes because I'm not so fast sometimes. I'm a slow reader too in Miss Kinian's class for slow adults." But I'm trying very hard. He gave me a chance with another card that had two kinds of ink spilled on it, red and blue. He was very nice and talked slow like Miss Kinian does, and he explained it to me that it was a raw shock. He said people see things in the ink. I said, "Show me where." He said, "Think." I told him, I think a ink blot, but that wasn't right either. He said, "What does it remind you? Pretend something." I closed my eyes for a long time to pretend. I told him, I pretend a fountain pen with ink leaking all over a tablecloth. Then he got up. And went out. I don't think I passed the raw shock test. Progress report three, March seventh. Doctor Strauss and Doctor Nima say it don't matter about the ink blots. I told them I didn't spill the ink on the cards, and I couldn't see anything in the ink. They said that maybe they will still use me. I said, Miss Kinian never gave me tests like that one, only spelling and reading. They said 
Miss Kinnian told that I was her bestest pupil in the adult night school because I tried the hardest and I really wanted to learn. They said, how come you went to the adult night school all by yourself, Charlie? How did you find it? I said, I asked people and somebody told me where I should go to learn to read and spell good. They said, why did you want to? I told them because all my life I wanted to be smart and not dumb. But it's very hard to be smart. They said, you know it will probably be temporary. I said, yes. Miss Kinnian told me, I don't care if it hurts. Later, I had more crazy tests today. The nice lady who gave it me told me the name, and I asked her, how do you spell it so I can write it in my progress report? Thematic Apperception Test. I don't know the first two words, but I know what test means. You got to pass it or you get bad marks. This test looked easy because I could see the pictures. Only this time she didn't want me to tell her the pictures. That mixed me up. I said the man yesterday said I should tell him what I saw in the ink. She said that don't make no difference. She said make up stories about the people in the pictures. I told her how can you tell stories about people you never met? I said why should I make up lies? I never tell lies anymore because I always get caught. She told me this test and the other one, the raw shock, was for getting personality. I laughed so hard. I said, how can you get that thing from ink blots and photos? She got sore and put her pictures away. I don't care. It was silly. I guess I failed that test, too. Later, some men in white coats took me to a different part of the hospital and gave me a game to play. It was like a race with a white mouse. They called the mouse Algernon. Algernon was in a box with a lot of twists and turns, like all kinds of walls, and they gave me a pencil and a paper with lines and lots of boxes. On one side, it said, Start. And on the other end, it said, finish. They said it was amazed, and that Algernon and me had the same amazed to do. I didn't see how we could have the same amazed if Algernon had a box and I had a paper, but I didn't say nothing. Anyway, there wasn't time because the race started. One of the men had a watch he was trying to hide, so I wouldn't see it, so I tried not to look, and that made me nervous. Anyway, that test made me feel worse than all the others because they did it over ten times with different amazeds, and Algernon won every time. I didn't know that mice were so smart. Maybe that's because Algernon is a white mouse. Maybe white mice are smarter than other mice. Progress Report 4, March 8th. They're going to use me. I'm so excited. I can hardly write. Dr. Nima and Dr. Strauss had an argument about it first. Dr. Nima was in the office when Dr. Strauss brought me in. Dr. Nima was worried about using me, but Dr. Strauss told him Miss Kinnian recommended me the best from all the people who she was teaching. I like Miss Kinnian because she's a very smart teacher. And she said, Charlie, you're going to have a second chance. If you volunteer for this experiment, you might get smart. They don't know if it will be permanent, but there's a chance. That's why I said, okay, even when I was scared because she said it was an operation. She said, don't be scared, Charlie. You've done so much with so little. I think you deserve it most of all. So I got scared 
When Dr. Nima and Dr. Strauss argued about it, Dr. Strauss said I had something that was very good. He said I had a good motivation. I never even knew I had that. I felt proud when he said that not everybody with an IQ of 68 had that thing. I don't know what it is or where I got it, but he said Algernon had it too. Algernon's motivation is the cheese they put in his box, but it can't be that because I didn't eat any cheese this week. Then he told Dr. Nima something I didn't understand, so while they were talking, I wrote down some of the words. He said, Dr. Nima, I know Charlie is not what you had in mind as the first of your new breed of intellect couldn't get the word Superman. But most people of his low meant are hosp and uncoop. They are usually dull, apath, and hard to reach. He has a good nature. He's interested and eager to please. Dr. Nima said, Remember he will be the first human being ever to have his intelligence tripled by surgical means. Dr. Strauss said, Exactly. Look at how well he's learned to read and write for his low mental age. It's as great an achievement as you and I learning Einstein's theory of vitae without help. That shows the intense motivation. It's compare a tremendous achieve. I say we use Charlie. I didn't get all the words, and they were talking too fast, but it sounded like Dr. Strauss was on my side and like the other one wasn't. Then Dr. Neiman nodded. He said, All right, maybe you're right. We will use Charlie. When he said that, I got so excited, I jumped up and shook his hand for being so good to me. I told him, thank you, Doc, you won't be sorry for giving me a second chance. And I mean it, like I told him. After the operation, I'm going to try to be smart. I'm going to try awful hard. Progress Report 5, March 10th. I'm scared. Lots of people who work here and the nurses and the people who gave me the tests came to bring me candy and wish me luck. I hope I have luck. I got my rabbit's foot and my lucky penny and my horseshoe. Only a black cat crossed me when I was coming to the hospital. Dr. Strauss says, Don't be superstitious, Charlie. This is science. Anyway, I'm keeping my rabbit's foot with me. I asked Dr. Strauss if I'll beat Algernon in the race after the operation, and he said maybe. If the operation works, I'll show that mouse I can be as smart as he is. Maybe smarter. Then I'll be able to read better and spell the words good and know lots of things and be like other people. I want to be smart like other people. If it works permanent... They will make everybody smart all over the world. They didn't give me anything to eat this morning. I don't know what that eating has to do with getting smart. I'm very hungry, and Dr. Nima took away my box of candy. That Dr. Nima is a grouch. Dr. Strauss says I can have it back after the operation. You can't eat before a operation. Progress Report 6, March 15th. The operation didn't hurt. He did it while I was sleeping. They took off the bandages from my eyes and my head today so I can make a progress report. Dr. Nima, who looked at some of my other ones, says, I spell progress wrong, and he told me how to spell it and report, too. I got to try and remember that. I have a very bad memory for spelling. Dr. Strauss says it's okay to tell about all the things that happened to me, but he says I should tell more about what I feel and what I think. 
When I told him I don't know how to think, he said, Try. All the time when the bandages were on my eyes, I tried to think. Nothing happened. I don't know what to think about. Maybe if I ask him, he will tell me how I can think now that I'm supposed to get smart. What do smart people think about? Fancy things, I suppose. I wish I knew some fancy things already.